We all love great slow-mo, but oftentimes don't have the thousand frames per second camera that allows you to get footage like this. Stay tuned in the guide and I'm gonna show you how you can do it on Final Cut. So go ahead and open Final Cut Pro. This effect is gonna blow your mind. Make a new event in your library of choice. I usually keep, keep my rate at 30 frames per second, 4K or 1080p, and let's title this slow-mo. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my footage onto the timeline. And uh, just a tip, when you're shooting, shoot your footage in 60 FPS or 120 FPS. This is really gonna increase your chances of it looking absolutely amazing and uh, getting that smooth kind of time standing still effect that you want. All right, so this first clip was shot at 120 FPS and the second clip was shot at 60 FPS. So I'm gonna show you the difference. And all you do when you have your footage on the timeline, it is this simple. Go ahead and find the point that you want it to start slowing down. So I really like kind of how when the water disconnects from the drop, it, uh, it creates that effect and I want that to be slower. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the clip, press Shift B and then find the point that you want it to, to obviously speed up again. Now, remember guys, when you're slowing down by 10, 15 times, <laughs> you don't need that much time. So I'm gonna zoom in and literally just choose this portion here and click Shift B. And now we're gonna go ahead and slow that down. So let's review the footage at 20%. You can see there's a lot of stuttering happening, right? And here's the fix. It is literally this simple. Firstly, I'm gonna just chop off this back half. Now, once you're highlighted on the clip, go to the Read Timing Tools, Go down to video quality and choose optical flow. And it's gonna take some time to process that. And once it's processed, let's play this. Look at how beautiful that is. Let's quickly go ahead and do the other clip using the same principle. This is uh, my dog when he was small. Go ahead and choose the portion of the clip that you wanna slow down. We're at 11% now and you can see there's some choppiness in that footage. I'm gonna just slow it down a bit more. Let's say 8%, definitely some chop and go to your read time, go video quality, and click optical flow. And now if we play that, oh my goodness, how beautiful is that? It is honestly just insane. And these sliders are gonna help you kind of ease in and out of that slow motion. And that's exactly how you get hyper-realistic, super, super slow motion footage, guys. If you enjoy the guide, go ahead and like this video, subscribe, comment any questions that you have. And if you didn't enjoy it, just like it for the dog. Look how cute he is. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one, bye.